Human beings have always generated garbage. In the battle to keep the streets clean, the mechanized garbage truck is a combat vehicle. It crushes tons of trash en route to deliver it to landfills, incinerators, and recycling facilities. Without it, we'd all be knee-deep in garbage. Garbage trucks have different approaches to handling garbage. Some load from the front, others from the rear or side. And some are entirely mechanized like this side loader truck. The operator inside the cab barely needs to lift a finger, as the hydraulic lift arm does all the heavy work. The garbage truck has come a long way since it hit the street in 1952. Production on a modern side loader truck begins with the welding robot. The robot fuses numerous steel supports to the truck body floor. These supports will allow the truck to hold up to the force of tons of trash being compacted inside. Meanwhile, down the line, other parts like the roof and sides take shape in separate assemblies. Once they're complete, they hoist the large steel parts into place and assemble them within a metal framework. The framework serves as a guide to piece together all the parts of the truck box. Once assembled, the workers clamp the parts together to secure the assembly as they weld the seams. The garbage truck body is then ready for the mechanized parts, beginning with a hopper. It's equipped with a powerful hydraulic compactor to squeeze as much trash as possible into the truck. They fit the hopper snugly to the front of the truck body and weld it to it. Then they lift the tailgate into position at the rear of the truck box. They hinge it to the truck by sliding heavy-duty steel pins through brackets. Once hinged, the tailgate can swing up and out of the way to allow garbage to be discharged. The driving force for this is a pair of hydraulic cylinders attached by brackets welded to the tailgate at one end and the truck body at the other. With that job done, these cylinders can now extend to lift the tailgate and retract to close it. Across the factory floor, another team assembles a pair of steel lift arms. These lift arms are designed for another kind of truck, the front end loader. It's mainly used to collect hefty commercial garbage containers. In action, these arms pivot around the truck cab and extend to the front to fork up the trash container and deposit the contents in the hopper. Hydraulic cylinders also power these lift arms. When the task is complete, the forks at the end of the arms fold back out of the way. Nearby, workers test this rear loader garbage truck. Its tailgate is split into two hoppers, one for recyclables and the other for trash. Hydraulic systems lift them one at a time or simultaneously. Collecting garbage and disposing of it can be tough on a truck's paint job, so they apply an extra durable finish. They spray sealer on the sanded outer surface, followed by two coats of epoxy paint. After that, they bake on the layers. Meanwhile, the truck chassis has arrived from another factory. It's a standard size, so they chop a piece off to size it for the garbage truck body. They install bracket plates at the back, and slide thick pins through the holes to join the truck body to the chassis. Using a crane, they lift the automated side loader truck body onto the modified chassis. Once it's installed, they test the compactor. Dual hydraulic cylinders push the ejector blade to the back of the truck. They test the tailgate, which has by now been equipped with signal lights, mud flaps, and other parts, and verify that everything functions properly. Once a truck passes muster, it's ready to handle whatever garbage society throws its way. And with these automated garbage trucks, there's no need for anyone to strain their back or get their hands dirty, because these robot arms can handle it.